Yes, welcome uh, back to Daybreak and welcome to another edition of uh, Engage. It is Tuesday. Uh, normally it is ladies first, so I will introduce Anita Ray. And then also welcome back Israel Robert Burali. <laughs> it's good to be back. Karibu sana wa. Asante sana. Thank you. Uko salama. Nguvu imerudi. Nguvu iko sawa. Umekunywa chai? Chai lazima. The key. <laughs> I, I saw you yeah, are to sister session, but I saw that you loved tea. Yes. Kwa ginene. Eh, shout out. Niliona <laughs> pale. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it's good, it's good to have you guys. CJ Atemo is not with us today. He's in Durban. Or rather, right now he's en route to Durban. Yeah, so uh, he's going there to minister and to save the lost. Uh, he, he said specifically, I should not impute <laughs> or cast aspersions on his character and his well-being. So he's in Durban for mission. <laughs> He'll be back. But today I want to talk about something uh, very interesting because in light of the fact that Father's Day is coming up this week, uh, as to whether people appreciate fathers or not, is another topic for another day. Mm. But to guzia hapa leo because to na sana mothers, and quite right, rightly so, I guess, I know a little bit, but gee, be, 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 be. Uh, but then and father's father day is coming. But I want to talk about both parents. And this is the topic about finances. When a shule, okay, Shama Lisa Shule, who graduate, who part of Kazi, mm -hmm. the next automatic thing that happens in the African context at least is you now have to take care of the parents. And your siblings. And your siblings. Yeah. Yes. And your siblings. So that's what we're asking. Is it mandatory to send money to your parents? Yeah, let's start with you, Anita. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> You're all laughing. Yeah. Why are you laughing? That's really like, there? yes, the Aliana gun has Nani. been cocked. <laughs> 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 yes. No, I, it's not mandatory. For me, I think it should not be mandatory. It mm -hmm. should be. You didn't send an application to your parents. Parents, eh, parents. Eh, Jesus Christ. No, you didn't. You didn't send an application to your parents for mm -hmm. them to have a child. They had a child out of their own consent of being married. So, mm -hmm. having to send them money afterwards looks like payment for raising you. And some parents actually <coughs> make it look like that, calling you like, "Sasa nilikulea na shida." Ah uh ah. -uh. Wahala, did I not ask you to mm. have a child? You had me out of your own will. So raising, it's your job to raise me. It was your job to raise me. Now can you let me raise myself a bit? But we have um, a bad culture where ukipata kazi hivi, the money is supposed to go to your parents before it goes to you. And that's a very <coughs> bad thing. It's not mandatory. For me, I think it's even wrong for mm -hmm. your parents to demand money from you. It should be willingness because they're your parents. So you kosa kutuma na kublackmail, ila shida nilikula, mtu wezi imagine bado na kula shida na nili, ay! It should be from your heart. They're your parents. You should just give them willingly. Mm -hmm. See blackmail and a lot of black Willing people. buyer, willing seller. Brale, what do you think? I think it's the right thing to do. I'm not saying necessarily mandatory, but it is the right thing to do. And, and sometimes you're not giving your parents because they in need of that money. Even if your father or your mother is a multi-billionaire, there is a blessing you receive as a child by just being a blessing. They'll declare, you know, send your father or your mother some money. And then those words, thank you, my daughter, thank you, my son, God bless you. That alone opens doors. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the right thing to do. But what about, um, let's talk about it this way. The, pe the, the airline, I need to say, which mm -hmm. is true, that every time you fail to do it, there is some sort of uh, tongue lashing mm. right. <laughs> mm. that you get. Uh, you know, you say like, oh, like an asema, any mm -hmm. So that they almost make it look like I was, uh, this was an investment. So it's, it's, time, it's time for ROI. Payback, yeah. It's Payback. time for return on investment. Yeah. What do you have to say about it? I think what we need to do as the children, if we can, if you have the financial elasticity uh, to, to send them something, we shouldn't let it get to that place whereby we push them into using those funny things because it brings a lot of bad blood, <coughs> excuse me, within the family. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, and I think a parent, even if you send them something small, it's just that gesture. So as the kids, I think as the ch kids, not a good word, as the children, <laughs> I think the onus would be on us to make the first move, mm -hmm. as long as you can afford it. You know, I know in this generation now, we have kids, uh, children, uh, doing very well in Nairobi or in the big cities and uh, going to clubs and uh, showing us that they're washing hands with the 
past the Kavosi or whatever you call it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yes, and then they're showing off on Instagram <laughs> and, and, and Facebook and getting all the likes and the, and the comments mm -hmm. uh, that you're doing very well. And then your parents are in abject poverty, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. And that's the generation you're raising right now, unfortunately, where we are doing things with our friends. And the truth of the matter, we would not be here had it been for parents, mm -hmm. uh, well-being, guidance, uh, or our guardians as well. Because remember, there are others who have done abortions. So, so we are here. Yes, as a teacher, okay, we didn't apply. But also, that, guess what? That having that child was a personal choice. It's the same way someone did Sometimes. an abortion. No, hang that on was, a minute. That was, that well, yes. actually, it that was but a you know personal what? choice. It is a no, it's RB. You said some had abortions. That was a personal choice. Even having you as a child, that's a personal choice. I don't have to pay for you raising me. That's your job. As a parent, that it's my job to raise my kids. I don't have to charge them for that. It's my job. I don't think parents are obligation. charging. I don't They're think charging. parents are charging. Some of them charge. I don't think parents are charging. Mm. It's just that we have not understood our responsibility as children. And many people think, and, and I still say this, even if your parents have the finances that they can take care of themselves, mm -hmm. it's not that you are telling them, without me, you cannot survive. Mm -hmm. They really can survive. But there is something that happens to us as children when we open our hands to our parents or our guardians. And yes, they didn't, uh, you didn't apply, but guess what, Anita? Mm -hmm. You're a top radio personality. Mm -hmm. You're a TV personality. Mm -hmm. You bless many people. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of those parents. Had it not been for them, you would not be here. Willis Roburu, had it not been for your father and your mother, he was a busy man. He was a PC, I think, yeah? <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Roburu. Yes. You know? Yes, he was. <laughs> you know, had it not been for them, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying I'm raising her so that she can take care of me. Mm -hmm. And that's wrong when parents raise children mm -hmm. as an investment to take care of them in old age. Mm -hmm. The biggest result, uh, thank you, you can give to your parents is being a success. And then if you decide to bless your parent, if my daughter comes uh, when she's uh, much older and she's, she has her job, I may not need her money. I don't want, I'm not raising her for her to take care of me. But she says, Dad, I have come and I've brought some sugar. I would say, my daughter, God bless you. That breaks barriers of limitations. Let me say two things I want to ask. Uh, and then uh, I'll ask them and then we'll see how we'll answer them. One, so on a same, uh, for example, and I want to use this uh, yes. example. So Ngina, what is the name of the other? Mohoho. Yes. Hata wana faku upatia uhuru kakitu. Do you know President what? President Uhuru. Yes. The, you know, to us, he's the president. Now, Maggi. Yes. <laughs> Maggi, you think they're your friends. No. <laughs> yes, that's how we roll. Yeah, yes. First lady in Margaret Kenyatta. <laughs> before Osipidi Aguilera. What, what I'm saying, <laughs> to us, he's the president. Mm -hmm. To them, he's, a dad. he's their father. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So, we don't look at him because he's a multi-billionaire, powerful and all that. There is what we call a father's blessing, a mother's words that protect you going forward. You know, uh, we are here because of our parents' prayers or blessings in secret. You understand? And today, if something happens to you, all these friends you have, mm. even your fellow media friends, they will run away from you. That's a lie, though. They will run away from you. <laughs> You are friends? Let, let nobody lie to you. Anita, I'm going to say I'm going to say that. 98% of all these people who like your Instagram pages, mm. they will run away. But your mother could be 90 in the village. She would struggle to jump on a matatu to come and check, is my daughter, is my son okay? So it is okay for us to be a blessing to them. Watch out you going drinking with your friends and posting on social media and washing your hands. Yeah, stop, Those ones will stop, not be there. Stop making all about drinking. You know, buy too mango expensive. Don't, don't. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> and exactly, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Buy expensive clothes, but don't buy an expensive suit if your father does not have a sweater. Let when me ask you, RB, uh, uh, you're, yes. you're, you're, you're focused on the blessing so much. Yes. Why does it have to be monetary? Why does it have to be materialistic? Why does my parent need something too tangible for them to bless me. They're my parents. They should bless me without me having anything. You the, but they don't bless you anyway. But in, yeah, so don't put it at the old as you know, kitu wa bless. That's why we have, let me tell you something, and let's be honest. In families, the person with the most money is respected. You get. And that's, that's I think, nature. I don't know. I think it's how we are raised. If your brother has more money, walk you and your person and grata. Well, you know, 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 you know
we have made it even where we come from, even from our parents, that money is a big deal. So that's why sometimes I don't understand where. And my problem is this, if you can afford it, your parents are your parents, RB. Mm -hmm. Why would you not want to support them? Why would you not want to build your parents a house? By them, you would, everybody would want to do that. But parents need to understand, wacheni kulipisha watoto kuwalea. It's really wrong. I don't and agree, yes, line, I do agree with you. And that line kwanza RB the parents use, which most, I hope parents are watching this. Mm -hmm. Heo, ah, ah. Wahala. But let me ask, that's the thing I was going to, that was the second question. What about parents who, they knew, let's say they grew up in abject poverty. Mm -hmm. They knew that my, the ticket to success, success um, I may not, let's say, for example, maybe there are those who are no, no disregard for them who grew up in the slum or whatever, but maybe they didn't, they, are in, they were in poverty. And so they say the only gift I can give this son of mine, this daughter of mine, is to work hard mm -hmm. to make sure that ni petitia hadi aende, you know that the ones who <laughs> that those who, I don't know if that was me, I don't think so, but <laughs> those who are gonna say we into the bright one at a tutoqua. Koshida. Koshida. So they they push everything, they put everything into education, they pull resources, do mm -hmm. what everything, and then they say that you go ahead because once you make it then come back now for your siblings. We can only afford to take you to school. Come back for your siblings. Then now the child after they make it, they forget. Do the parents have a right? to now say wewe umetusao na tulikulea na shida that's the worst thing parents do why are you you have three kids why are you making one special you know no juu sasa hawana uwezo wa kupeleka kile kitu shule no no wewe that's that's kwanza you unaleta garage kwa siblings so na get mm -hmm. you have three kids what so you basically ungepata huo moja so upeleka first born kwanza hapana no that's wrong for me i always think it's wrong because you already make that kid look favored mm -hmm. Uta, utalea watoto wako na issues za no matter how good you become will never be better than nani and that's bad. Parents need to understand how you raise a child is how they grow up to be. Um to who are always feeling lesser than people. I see as it to fikia willis una jua. And there's imagine willis you my big bro. Na kwa nagatu kwa teli, wendu lisoma. Mimi na oko na uza gatu kwa hotel flani usha go. Niki fanya makosa hivya ta kusiniz watu wa kiyomba. How is it kwa kaa willis? You're like, ah ah. Sneezing is normal, you know. If, you know, and it's wrong. How does that make me feel as a person? And you see, parents need to understand all kids cannot be blessed in the same way. You need to sit down and understand understand all your kids. This one is bright. Let me invest, invest in his education. This one can be a good footballer. This one can, don't focus on one child. You lose your other two kids. Let me tell you the truth. You focus on that one. The one is a very successful person. Mungine brother ni mgondi. You're like, ah, well, or the same parent, because one, the parent chose their child and left the other one to raise themselves. You see, and at the end of the day, Willis, you grow up, you have money, and you're supposed to raise your siblings. You keep asking yourself, you know, mm. they're not my responsibility. My job is not to grow up and raise my mother's kids, no. My job is to grow up and raise myself, get a family. And parents need to draw that line, by the way. And LB, I hope you don't agree, disagree with me on this Well, he's, when he's quiet, he normally most Because like you're not, you're not <laughs> asking. No, Willis, it's wrong. At Mimi na 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 hustle this hard. Nilewa toy way to Apana. I should be hustling this hard to get my own home, build my family, and raise my kids. You got four kids. You knew how you're going to raise them. Don't be raising me to raise your kids. No. Parents, stop raising your firstborns. Kwanza, stop making firstborns parents. Don't raise your firstborns <laughs> to raise your kids. Pamana na hali yako ya maisha. Acha ni seme, because I know kuna kwa na a lot of nini online. <laughs> this time, because yes, last week I had to shut down somebody. Mm -hmm. So this time, both of them are qualified because they have children. <laughs> Let me just say. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Robert, what do I you think? I do understand where she's coming from. Um, but besides that, it also depends on the values the parents put on the children. Because if you put the right and inculcate the right values, then there'll be no rivalry. Mm. And, and I remember one of our friends, Jalango, mm. the father gave him money and told him, go to Nairobi and be a man. And, and said, okay, the guy came, did well for himself, gone back home help his siblings, build his mama house, you understand? Uh, and what happens is sometimes, if you have three kids, parents maybe may look and say, we don't have the financial might to educate the three children. So we may do one, especially if there are, there, there are very few gaps of years, uh, they're growing up almost the same, uh, in the same age group, one can go ahead based on their might or lack of, you understand? And then you say, okay, fine, based on the values you've put on your children, you can help start off your siblings. It shouldn't be, a must. But if the values have been put, you will do it cheerfully and say, okay, up to this place, 
I've tried my best. Now, just as I was told by my father, go be a man, you tell your siblings, now, from here, a hand over the baton, do what you have to do. But if also the siblings feel like it's a must, then they, that's a problem. And as Anita would say, then that's when they have issues and, and jealousy and all that. But always remember, it's besides the finances, values should be the foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, then there's also uh, another pertinent issue as well. And Again, we welcome your views and comments. The hashtag to use is Daybreak on Twitter, and you can SMS us on 22422. Um, so SMS on 22422. We're asking, is it mandatory to give parents money? Um, yeah, so another thing is that we also have parents who um, come and claim you later. <laughs> uh, when yeah. they were not, uh, <laughs> when you were wakati ulikuwa tu, Israel, <laughs> Ama Anita, Uko tu, yeah. hustling, you know, not yet a name, not yet a fame, not yet a success. They're like, it's okay. Then now you show up, Sasa, Anita wa TV, Burale wa TV. Yeah. Then, then they're like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know Anita Ray, my daughter, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my accent doesn't mean that those are the ones who do that. Be but careful. <laughs> Social media is crazy. I know. <laughs> I have to clarify. So, so, so what about those who come and claim later on in the day? And then I expect that, you know, yes, I wasn't there, but now here I am. And... That's an uh, assault. I'm going to give a good example. Diamond, uh, we all know that. Ah, yes, Chibu, yes, Chibude. Yes. Chibudi, Chibude. Grew up with a single mom. allegedly was sick, but performed somewhere else. The, shout after, out to, I know, big up. That guy is a real OG, Morgan. man. Real OG, you know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we digress. Uh -huh. Diamond, uh, the mom, uh, we may not know the whole story, but uh, you saw his pictures from Kitambo, mm. and you've seen the mother share the pictures. She struggled. She did odd jobs to raise this kid. And mm. I look on him, Lea, and I will yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, you know, yeah. and she hustled. Yeah. genuinely hustled yeah. to raise this kid. This kid becomes a star and a really big star. And Diamond works hard. Let's mm. not even lie about it. That's true. He works really, really hard for his music. And it has made him who he is. And then out of the blues, the father woke up and realized, hey, my son is a superstar. So he decided, why are you abandoning me? I'm your father. Respect your wimbo. father. Mm. I can curse you. Ah, 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 ah. Don't let, let's not even bring curse. You cannot curse what you didn't bless. That is in the Bible, right? You cannot, hey, I know yeah. the Bible. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> so I repeat in the Bible, right? Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> you cannot curse what you didn't bless. You, you can't curse what God has blessed. God, God has blessed. Yes. But in the rest, you didn't bless it. You can't curse it. Exactly. Yeah. God no, I'll find you the blessing. <laughs> the, Mother, go Amen. Is that offering? Do go So, a man like that, mm -hmm. Diamond should help him out of his kutaka. But he should be under no obligation, not from social media, who doesn't know what he went through growing up, not from mm. even his own mom, because the father should have been there. But you miss out on 26 years of a boy, and you wake up one morning and he said, because he's making money, not because you love him, not because you care about this child, not because you have their interest at hand, but you wanna show up because they are doing well, then that person should actually, we should have a place in the constitution where you can sue for that kind of thing. <laughs> because that's wrong, you neglected this child. Mm. Presence sometimes is more important than anything in the world. Just be there. This boy didn't have a father figure. So I'm a grave of it. I'm a jijenga. Now he's a man of his own. Now you wake up and say, I'm a, it's a woman of their own. You say, oh, my daughter, if I don't bless you, you can get married. Ah, You know, it doesn't make sense. These parents blackmail you. Being a parent and parents should understand is not about sleeping with a person or having a child. That is not it. It's about mm. raising them. It's about what you instill in them. It's about being there for them through good and bad times. No, you are there for none. Oh, sasa ni kona kakiru. You want to call me? Oh, ni kona shida. Brother, utakula shida. Pambarana. Pambarana. Because I won't. Mm. And you see the worst thing about society. Oh, ni babako mweshimu. Uh-uh. Don't tell people what to do and you don't know what they've been through. That's a problem with our social media. I saw people trolling diamond. Get back. I was like, that boy, had his whole life. I can imagine what it means for a boy not to have a father. Maybe that's why he doesn't even know what to do with women. He's never seen a, someone dealing with a woman, you know. He no. doesn't know. <coughs> so at yeah, all. Na, and a parambinet two, na, one, two, three, four. Sawa. Him ni ye ni tender women and zako everywhere. And you see, he doesn't have <laughs> guidance. He doesn't know where to start. So <laughs> at the end of the day, Willis, you cannot disappear for that long in your child's life, be it a, a man or a woman, and show up and demand anything. Even the love, you can't demand the love. The respect you can ask for, you're a parent. Like any the love, <coughs> the support, you cannot, and you have no right on top of it. You have no right at all. Yeah, at we, all. We need to take a short break, but Burale, before we do, 
your, your comment on the same. My, I, I do agree with most of the parts, uh, but what I'm saying is if the man is owned, then they, they have to first come into an agreement, not just demanding when you come back. But when parents separate when you're a young person, until you know the reasons, be very careful. Because you may say, my mom disowned me, my father disowned me, yet maybe he or she was denied access. And then maybe when you're famous, it's like, okay, fine, if I go into media, I'll get attention. But the only thing I did not agree with that whole situation, I don't care what your father or your mother has done, never reply to them negatively on media. Never answer your father or your mother while uh, putting them down in a public forum. Whether he's a pauper, a drunkard, a billionaire, that is the man whose seed you came from, or the woman who carried you for nine months. But the pe people who disown their children and then wait when their children have made it and then all of a sudden to appear, parenthood, as she said, did you attend the parents' day? Did you do homework with your children? Did you take him for circumcision? Did you teach him how to tie a tie? Were you there when he was walking down the aisle? Parenthood is responsibility, not just appearing from the blues and voila, I am here. To uh, daybreak and to engage, and we are asking, as you can see, that give unto parents is a question like we're asking so today. Is it okay for you to give or is it mandatory? Not is it okay, because it is okay, but is it mandatory for you to give? Let's start with some feedback. Yes, thank you very much. Let's start with some feedback and take a look at some tweets and see what people are saying here. Um, all right, so we have... Griffins Oduallo, who says, Willis, there are two things you should do when you start earning, no matter what the circumstances, they are. One, make sure God gets his 10% and your parents eat your sweat, period. That is Griffins Oduallo. Evelyn underscore Wood says, it's not Yawa. Some parents choke their kids as if they too don't have families to cater for. Wanyela Evans 1 says, we can't run away from the fact that we are the ones to support our parents. Sending them money isn't an option, but mandatory. Wanyela, keep your go innocent. Asama. It is more than you have to put it. This is because they're the ones who endured you growing up the way you are. They, had, they, had they rejected you, who knows where you could be. It's the obligation of the child to take care of the parents. Biblia inasema, heshimu baba na mama. So I'm going to message now on 2242. You didn't leave your name, but you said this topic is hot out there. I feel like Anita is bitter with parents. So somebody says, Anita, you'll respond to that. For me, if parents have no money, they can't ask you for money. If parents can use any abusive language to ask you for money, they may be suffering and they are trying to communicate with you. So for me, giving to parents is mandatory. Mandatory. Okay. Ma <laughs> Mary Kakenya, good name, uh, says it's not mandatory, but we as children, we should never lack the aspect of humanity to our parents. Let's remember soon we'll also grow up to be parents and we expect the same from our children, not as a responsibility, but along social lines, we must help mm. our parents out <coughs> as well. All right, so there you go. That's as far mm. as uh, the feedback is concerned. Keep sending us feedback. The hashtag you use is daybreak and the SMS line is 2242. And if somebody says that, you, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm, I just went through Twitter and I'm laughing. Everybody's like, Anita, respect parents. Anita, respect you don't know the institution of family. Anita, you don't understand. That's a problem. You think I don't understand. I have kids. I have two kids. I have my own family and I come from mm. a family. I'm a firstborn. I'm saying this because we like pretending, you know, mm. and we lie too much. And I always tell people that's what I really can't stand. Mm. I'm not saying don't support our parents. Why would I ask the question? Why would you not want to support your parents? These are your parents. They raised you. There is nobody in this world who's going to love you or value more than your parents. Because how do I put it? They are your gods on earth. That's how important they are. They're your parents. Value them, love them, respect them. But also, our parents themselves need to understand. It's not disrespect when I tell you, I cannot send you money for this and this and this. And you, let's be honest, you cannot always have money to send. You see, and also let me ask now, let's even make this broader. What if you're married? I'm not angry. I just hate how parents, and I've watched this happen a lot of times, blackmail their kids. You can't blackmail your own kid. Even my kids who are married, Willis, Baba Yakwa, Baba, I mean, like, if we are married, let me use this example. Mama, no, married to Arbi. Let me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me turn around. I'll be we are married. And now my dad calls me. Um, Hi, I need money for this and this. I don't have. And I'm scared. Be. Wolio, I'm scared. Now I'm going to pay. You get. And these things happen. Let's not lie. Wolio, I'm to go. To na kula si de nyumbani na ukona pesa. And parents do this. They even make you now as their daughter a business. Oh, nilikuzia msana ujaleta kitu kidongo. You're putting your own kids in a bad situation. And this is true. It's happening. Mdoto wako mepata her first job. She wants to move out, right? Apana kwanza usihame, mimi nataka kwanza unijenge. I always ask, and this hits home and people get angry. You as a parent, what have you done for my grandparents? Mm. What have you done for my, show me. And I always say that people are like, oh, Anita, we were how naga chills. Oh, so they should have sent an example of what exactly. Unaniambi ni kujenge shoshwa na kaka nyumba matope. We were born how kono jenge mama yako. Why am I struggling to? Let me even jenge kwanza, you know. And that's the problem. Una say diamzazi wako. Then maybe if you lose your job, you're at zero. Yes, no jenge how. Are you gonna go back home? Where do you even start? I'm not saying don't give your parents money. I'm just saying parents should not force you to give money. Give money when there's everybody who does. Kuna atu fanya shopping by the way. Ana fanya mzazi wake shopping na nampatia pesa ya the month. And that's a norm. And that's okay because you can afford it. What about that person who can't afford it? Willi sumse ya matuko shagwa na fanya mjengo and live hand to mouth. What are they going to do if they can't afford it? And that's what you like as I throw it over to RB. My good friend up Artur is watching all the way from Mogadishu and says another way to look at it is this. Boy child I'm grow up but how is he to move on with his life Jew? Mzazi bado how you poor. So you can't even progress in your life. Jew hutaki kuachilia mzazi. So is that something that happens? Because sometimes you could be locked up you know you can't advance yourself because you're still trying to pull. yes yes so there's a that's balance wrong. as much as you're saying yes it is uh, the right thing to help our parents and give but also there's a uh, part that the parents need to play high level of responsibility in fact uh, a blessed person will leave an inheritance for his children's children mm. it shouldn't be now we are looking back to help you because you are total uh, totally in luck it's just that we are giving you because we can and if you're children are not in a position to financially give don't start using that against them you understand because now you may push them to give you not cheerfully they'll give you the money and then you lose a relationship so as much as yes as the children we're supposed to give parents also have to understand the levels of respectabilities and boundaries that they don't need to cross and also understand that hey my daughter my son also has a family mm -hmm. so that when it comes to okay fine we're going to we're going to visit uh, them in the village or wherever they are then you can take some shopping mm -hmm. but not or oh, every month as i'm tithing to god then i also have to give you mm -hmm. out of duty the moment you do it out of duty then you're going to lose a relationship mm -hmm. and the relationship is more important but also there are children who can but they just don't but then when it comes to the holidays you pack all your kids in your van take them to your mother and father in the village so that you can go to Mombasa and Naivasha to have some fun now those people need to be tied to a tree and given seven plus one slashes because then your parents you're using them when you need them like doom there's a mosquito spray mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. if you can you want to take your parents your kids to your parents for a holiday to give you space then also it's take shopping there take shopping as well you can't take your 73 children there mm -hmm. like seven football but teams RB seriously, <laughs> there are people who do that yes oh, yes in this town Imagine they say, Mami, nimekuletea watoto. And you see for any parent, any grandparent, grandparent the, the joy, joy of yeah, the grandchild is okay. So they'll eat whatever they have together. But it is criminal to do that. And then we see you posting photos. Sijui, which rally you have gone to. You are there and you are sitting on the bonnet. And Sijui, you are <laughs> dundying and everything. <laughs> no. That's my cousin's song, eh, by the way. <laughs> so you go to understand that if you can, you also have to have wisdom. It's a principal thing. That's but right. yes, I've seen cases. This now generation is a very dirty generation. You take your kids home and you don't take and shopping. Don't Anita, so I'm are they telling you there are people who do that. But that's a shame. No, no. Let's 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 be realistic. I think common sense is not that common. Absolutely. Because that's right, yeah. how do you take your own kids home and you don't take? Leave alone kids, to be very honest. If you can, do shopping for your parents Absolutely. every month. If you can, if you, can. you get. My point is, if you can. When you have to you start to go to your house shopping, it feels nice. Yes. When your mom calls to say, oh, I saw the money I bought this, it feels genuinely nice. Absolutely. Because you feel like, even if I'm making a lot of mistakes in life, I'm doing good by my parents. Mm. And everybody wants to do good by their parents. And I, this one, we agree 100%. I to be shiny. If you're in Nairobi, <laughs> if you're in the city and big towns, as people say, right. I always ask someone, before you spend money, not even your parents, think of your whole family. 
Because there's nothing as bad as you're spending money and people in your life need it. And you don't need to spend. This ballers, I'm saying, I'm going to say, 43K, you're like, oh, that is rent of someone. That is... But it's your money, Sikatai. But be a good steward. But be a good... Just make sure. Call your mom. Mkosawa, kuna kitu mna need. On Friday, juna jua vizuri, utakuwa off, mbaka kitu mande. Just call them. Do you need anything? Do you want shopping? Trust you me. Giving back to your parents is always a good feeling. As long as parents don't exploit it. Also. Yeah, you get it. Yes. And mm -hmm. the other day, there was an argument on... Um, on Facebook, and someone was saying, sometimes it gets so bad, unapata in marriage, a husband is torn. The mother is like, if you're not doing for both of us, yeah. don't do it. Mm. So it's like, guy, when I'm fighting, when it's a competition, if I buy my wife a dress, my mother sees it, oh, wherever you don't spend, you get. And it puts a man, because the men are the ones in these bad situations. Because the man, unapenda mama yako with all you have. This is your mother. And you know men and, and, and mothers. Mm. And so you're torn between you've met this woman, you've married her, you want your own family with her. But your mother is reminding you, nili kulea na uchungu mingi sana, humu anamke umempata juzi. Can you make a good choice? Yeah, that is how, right. how, why does that leave a man also, yeah. you know? You so parents. we have to be very honest. And parents do that over and over again. But us, the problem with us, we don't want to look at parents as people who would go wrong. They go wrong, they're human. Our parents are human beings. We parents are be, we are human beings. Yeah. We'll make so many mistakes with these kids because this bringing, raising a child does not come with a manual, you know? It's, it's, you do this, it works, tomorrow it doesn't work, you fix it, you know. And our parents went through the same thing, because in our worst generation, where wazazi wa mama ndi walitulea, the men were just, huyu mtoto wako wa miyanguka. Lakini kufu mzuri ni wangu. So, it's, it's trial. So, these parents feel like they gave too much, but they need to understand. Asha kuwa mkubo. I can make decisions. I want to spend this on you, this on my wife, this on my brothers and sister, this on my friends. They need to respect that. Uh, there's somebody here, and because I, I didn't ask them whether I can uh, mention the name, I'll just read what they said. Uh, they said that I feel I have a lot to say in this topic. Some day out of the blue, my mom, for example, texted me and says, See, you need to meet a kapesa at a mini skinny kama ni meza kama na waka wengine. And she says uh, that she felt like she was stabbed on the chest and she didn't even raise me. I grew up away from her. I don't think it's right for her to come demanding money. What do you do in a situation like that, Arvi? The right word demand. When a parent demands, then they didn't earn it. Because when you start demanding, then you haven't done things to earn that respect. You understand what I'm saying? And that's where we're going back to you have disowned your children. And then all of a sudden, and that's a statement that would want to push somebody into guilt. Or nipatindo. No, no, no. What you do, just tell mom, before we think financials, let's mend our relationship. So it's not like I'm going to a shop, I pay, I, I, I pay for a duty. And that's what is happening. So sort out your issues first. Let the healing come. And then now let's say, let's go to now part two, part three, and part four. Mm. Because if you make it that you can heal your relationship by money, then that's very superficial. Mm. Let's have uh, some repentance, let's have some forgiveness, let's face things and say, okay, this is the reason this happened, this is the reason I walked out on you, and this and that, you understand? And then we think about money. So for that, for that lady, or a man, that's a lady? Yeah. Uh, that lady first before she thinks finances, because when she starts covering the pain with finances, she'll have to keep on doing that. When she doesn't have, then the relationship goes back to square one, which is zero. Mm -hmm. So go back, sort out your issues first, let forgiveness happen, and then you move on from there. Then also, Mr. Sorry, it's right. Uh, we also have Mr. Eric Binje. Binje, Binje, <laughs> Marshall. He says, bro, Mimi, I agree with Anita. Some parents have made it about money. Some even say, who you and you are your lewa? Simply because this particular son-in-law is richer than the other. Some parents have made it a business. Anita Ray? It's, it's uh, um, I'll be saying something I would love to just amplify. Mm -hmm. Stop uh, demanding pay for parenthood. The most beautiful thing in this world is for me is being a mother it beats anything in this world parenthood is amazing watching your kids grow teaching them things you know those mistakes you make and then you're like i can do better this time i can change next time you know that's the most so i will never charge my kids for parenthood because that's the most beautiful thing they gave me i'm a parent so parents should stop charging their kids for parenthood it's yeah. not about money parenthood should be paid in love in the respect these kids will give you in how they'll nurture you in how they'll always be there for you that's the only payment you would want for parenthood not money Mm -hmm. yeah. There are so many uh, SMS that have come in. I don't know if you have a time idea, man. It's almost again. I okay, all right. I uh, will take some time as they get it, as they mm -hmm. get more. Um, but somebody says here, yeah, just one. Uh, <laughs> I'm very partial. Anyway, okay. <laughs> let them compile. Them. But even as we go, as, as even as we discuss, eh, let's also not make it just financial. Yes. 
<laughs> Sometimes the most beautiful thing is just going to your parents and just spending an afternoon with them. True. Mm. Go cook for them and sit and just talk. When you leave in the evening, they feel fulfilled. Because the older they get, our parents, the lonelier they become. Because you have moved on. Just spend time with them. It's not just financial. O of course, and g even without money, just buy a gift. On my birthday, was it last year? On Father's Day last year, my daughter bought me a shirt. My daughter has no job. She's in school. Of course, she must have talked to her mother. She was given money. Now, I've outgrown that shirt. But I'm not giving anybody that shirt. In fact, I'm going to frame it in a glass frame. Because there's something, you know, my daughter bought me a shirt on Father's Day. And I know she doesn't have a job, so she got that money from the mother. You understand what I'm saying? So there's some gestures that they do, not because I can afford my own shirt, but you can imagine what that did to me and for me up to this day. Mm. So, in fact, we just go to your... There's a time you posted your photo of your mother, and I Mary. saw so many comments. You know, <laughs> there's nothing as beautiful as that. Yeah. You understand? You didn't post yeah, giving that, her money, but really just cool. spending. You understand? <laughs> So if people can just take time, and, and some say, oh, I don't go visit my mom because I've no job. Sometimes it's not about the money. And it's because, Give isn't, it, time. isn't it that because, uh, and Anita also alluded to that, because of the pressure that has been put either by society or by the parents themselves, or even just you thinking that, because society has said that, Lazima, everything relationship must have Finances. a monetary yeah, yeah. or a financial implication. And that is it. a problem. And so you don't want to go because... And you see, that's a problem of being put under pressure by society. Mm. Oh, social media is putting you under pressure. First and foremost, those are faceless people. They don't care about you. Say that you. again. Say They're that again. faceless people. Hallelujah. They don't care about you. They yeah. were not there when you were going They don't know you. They don't know you. When I to post picture, I say, thank you. What is this? Mimi ni shapashwa. Who are there to discuss? They're faceless yes. people. What I'm saying. <laughs> Like for me, my story was I had a big head when I was being born. Yeah. And I almost killed my mother because I couldn't come out. You understand? So that person on social media putting me under pressure. Oh, you are spending too much money. You are seeing your mother too much. They don't know we both almost died when I was being born. So forget about the pressure of society. They don't know your story. Amen. Just do what you have to do by your parents. Because every family has some uniqueness in them. Yeah. But the underlying thing for every person who has been raised by their parent Honor your father and your mother, and it shall be well with you, and you yes. shall have a long life. Mm -hmm. And also, you are planting a seed that will germinate when you get to their age. If you do, like Anita says, before you tell me to do it for you, what have you done for your grandparents? Mm. So if you can do it for your parents, you are planting a seed for your own children to, to do, do that well. which you did for your parents. Mm. So do it right, you'll reap right. Reap right, right. We want to take uh, some comments uh, as well. Uh, it is on social media. Trying, let me social try and, media is this a <laughs> hair wire right now. Let me try and, <laughs> and fix them. Thank you very much. Let me. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's take a look at some of them here. This is Kotso. Uh, Kotso is from Mombasa. He says, Most parents don't understand. I think parents should do away with the idea of Nakusomesha on his idea. Life itself is hard. We are in and out of loans, starting from the 1st to the 31st of the month, especially in terms where one member of the couple is the breadwinner of the family. And he, uh, so he or she ends by saying, sad. Another SMS, he didn't leave your name. Children who are against helping their parents assume more on being more endowed or endowed, depending on the skill you went to. If the opposite is granted, and may God forbid, would they still need parent support? Parents only need to see love from their children. Love is about giving, isn't it? Most children don't give to their parents. Romona from Nakuru says, parents should be given gifts, whether they are rich or not. I mean, it's prudent to do so. If you can't love your own blood relations, then don't cheat yourself that you can love anyone else. Family will always be there for you, but friends, wait till you have a humongous problem. You will come back to your senses. So it's mandatory to visit and give parents part of your sweat. We have some tweets here. Uh, and uh, this is Pastor Kibet says, give them out of love, not as a duty. Balance material with other non-tangibles like respect, celebrate them, prayer, and good wishes, etc. Parents should not demand, but allow their children to make choices. Nashpe, for me it is, and answering the question of mandatory, I think, and I agree with Anita that parents shouldn't educate firstborn, so they come and raise their siblings. My mom always regrets doing that. Us who hustle by ourselves are the ones supporting her. The one who was educated can't even send 500 bob. 
Muneve Sam, as Anita puts it, I don't understand why my parent would demand I give her money simply because Aliniza, which warrants her the privilege. It is like supporting the stick and carrot theory. There is no prenatal or postnatal agreement binding me into any such obligation. Rakastan 008, this is what makes Africa poor. We have adopted a culture where we don't work to grow but fill the gaps for our parents yet. Parents themselves don't help you in getting jobs. I believe once I have a job, I now have my own plans towards life. And Malimu Robin says, let's give back to our parents or guardians and siblings who cried to see us smile. Right, that is as far as uh, the comments are concerned. They're different and diverse. And in fact, the SMSs <laughs> themselves are so, so many uh, here. And we have to sift some of them because they are very personal. Zingine, watu wa mengia personal. Pole, pole, Timo. Let me lean back. <laughs> I was going through the head. The head. All right. So uh, even as we, as we wind up, so what are we saying? Because uh, there are people who are watching this also who are, on both sides, there is probably a parent who feels like, okay, yes, enyewe ndiyo munasema I shouldn't demand, but umtota pia huwa anisaidi. Then their kids are also thinking, by the way, I, I shouldn't be forced to do this. The other side again, there are parents who enyewe hawajiwezi, but umtota wame succeed na ametusa hao. So, as we do our finishing statements, what, 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 what do we say? Um... First of all, the people have made very angry on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I can see. To me, sift, sift, kidogo. But you can go to the hashtag daybreak and see them later. <laughs> I am going to say this because I love always making myself clear. Parents should not demand upkeep from our kids. Mm. It should be something you have to do. It's not an obligation. It's natural. It's the same way you love your parents. Nobody told you love your parents. You love them because they're your parents. Mm. So it's the same way you should not, uh, parents should not be demanding for upkeep. But if you have a situation where your son or your daughter is capable but they're not helping you, I think this is something that deserves a family to sit down. Because as Arbe said, kila family na shida zake in a uniqueness. Na kila family na shida to start with. And it should be a big problem that you have made it and your mother is in abject poverty, maybe even lacking food to eat every day, and you, you're comfortably living then. And you know, Willie, really sometimes these parents didn't even raise you. Mm -hmm. So you're finding a situation, kuna mtuna give back to the grandmother, not to the mother. Mm -hmm. That's not their fault. At the end of the day, the problems you have, your parents should not live in poverty if you have money. But also parents, stop pushing your kids to the corner. Stop pushing your kids to even take loans to give you a good life that they don't even have themselves. Stop pushing your kids. If they can, let them do it. If they yeah. can't, understand them and support them. But don't push your kids to the wall. And also on that part of our siblings raising each other or helping each other, if you want to, if you want to Willis, then why not? But not because you're forced. If you want to, these are your siblings. That will, family is the only constant in life. Mm. I badiliki, this is your family. Never. The only constant in life is family. Mm. It doesn't change. So at the end of the day, if you want to, my point is, if you want to, then do it. But if you don't want to, let no one force you. It doesn't matter with who or where or how. If you don't want to, don't be forced to. Because you should not be forced to take care of your parents. If you're being forced, as I'll be said, then the love is not there. Yeah. Don't do it. Utapena pesa na rochafu utaletea mama ko nooks. Because you'll be like, oh, mama na shininga kinidisha pesa. No, if you're not doing it from the deepest part of your heart, don't do it. Mm. If you're educating your siblings so that you can tell them every day, nili wasomesha, don't. Don't do it. Do it with a clean heart or leave it. So don't force anyone. Parents or no parents, don't force anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and also up IV Kunamuta Palisema, I agree with Burala, the decision of procreation should be sought after in regard to how capable they are to raise the children. It is indeed an investment, but an investment of values, the same values that will compel the children to give back. So, and he put the last one in bold <laughs> and in capital, raise them well, yeah. he says. Burala, your, your closing statement. You're actually just taking what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Let not the family be put together because of financial might. Let value, love, respect be the foundation. If you have the right values as a parent, you will not demand. If you have the right uh, values as a child, you will, and you can, you will not have to be coerced into giving. So value, love, respect, and togetherness. If that is a foundation, you will not struggle. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I tell you what, uh, some of your comments are very interesting, Upper AV. As G, I guess to the <laughs> At least we are not talking about marriage today. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, 
also for those of you who I see so many here who are saying um uh saying that you know our call lines are not open sorry we need to annou announce that okay but then somebody else says here that thanks willis and team for this program i'm a father who has grown in the community and witnessed the struggle parents go through to bring up their children the hard way and i feel uh distanced by some views that children don't have obligations to support their parents at a time of great need having invested their all in them that kind of argument is elitist this is Bunde. Kutoka Kisumu. Lazima nga nimo elutist. Elutist. Bunde ni sawa. Somebody says, for I believe it then remains you cannot take care of the parents is worse. And I believe, I imagine guys in your village giving something to your parents and then you, you're just in the city. Yeah. And then uh, somebody else. Yeah, okay, yeah. The rest of them, I guess, will have to reach out to RBI. Pukuna wengine anataka pa personal counseling. Please give us your number. Uh, I do yeah. personal counseling. Yes. Uh, but if I'm counseling a lady, there has to be somebody else <laughs> present. <laughs> I would just rather say it uh, so that they know. Yes. When I counsel a lady, they should just know there'll be somebody present. If it's very private, that person will be in the room, but not uh, close enough to hear. Mm -hmm. For men, we can counsel any time. <laughs> Why are you scared of Guinea? Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's just sometimes. Uh, Guinea. Yeah. If if a crocodile leaves the water and says there's a snake, you will believe it. Hmm. All right. <laughs> well, I'd like to say thank you guys so much. First of all, thank you guys so much for uh, all your comments and your views. We really do appreciate all of them. I know we didn't get to read all of them, but that's not to say we don't appreciate them or that we filter them because we said something that was off. Well, some of you did. <laughs> but... <laughs> But we tried what we can. <laughs> so I sent any sign up for your comments. So the other day, like I always say, we talk uh, here and we try to dissect these issues for you. And just sometimes even just for you to be a conversation starter, probably there was a parent who called up their sibling to listen or a sibling who called up their parent to, to watch, in as, watch as well. But like we always say, at the end of the day, if you feel that out of this, maybe this one hour wasn't enough and you still have some issues, you can always reach out to any of us here. These, both of these, uh, lovely people are parents, Anita and Grale. You can always sit and share ideas, and and uh, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, it's true. The, the more we talk, the more we get help. Don't suffer in silence. And if you you feel that wameongea uh, sana, mamoja leongea vila upendi, amu lipenda sana, you can still also seek. Uh, you could actually counsel a psychiatrist. Again, I always say, we demystify. Don't feel that you ni meno kwenye na mutu na kwenye nani. Find somebody you can talk to, your bishop, your pastor, your friend, or somebody who can help you and guide you in the right way. Don't suffer alone. Talk, 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 talk. Santini Sana for watching. Trevor and Zinzi are up next. So much is going on across the country. Uh, it is, how many days is it to the budget, Trevor? Two. To the budget? One, one day. Two days. Huh? It's on Thursday, yes. So The man with the base. A, the Thursday. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> that was a lovely rest of the day. Remember, God loves you and that will never change. And successful people look like you and my new next season. Amen.